please welcome to the stage USS Rock and Roll with Ricky Khalil and Brian Erzik. Put your hands together, everybody. Brian Erzik, everybody. Ricky Khalil, ladies and gentlemen. There's not a microphone on his stand. Everybody hear us okay? We're doing all right. We might be. Turned up a little bit. Can you guys hear us? We don't need to use mics. We okay? Mics? Ugh. Okay. This really will be improv because. We don't use microphones at home. We're just naked <laughs> in front of our audience. <laughs> and there's a lot of cords. Oh, <laughs> there are a lot of cords. Oh. Right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Microphone improv. Can we get a suggestion of a location? A uh, location. First one I heard was bus stop. Bus, bus stop. stop. <laughs> didn't didn't I tell you to get that confirmation? You did. did. I, I, did I not call you last night and say, confirm the rental car? <laughs> did I not do that? <laughs> Tell me if I didn't do it, because I remember doing it. And if I'm remembering wrong, then something's wrong with my brain. You did. Okay. Gerald, you did. Okay? Yeah. I just want to know why we now have to take a Greyhound bus from Omaha mm. to Lincoln to do our sales presentation. I'll tell you why, Gerald, because I was busy last night celebrating my raise. I was a little drunk when I came home, and you told me to reserve a car. Yeah. But it was because I got a raise, Gerald. I did. <laughs> These guys drive way too fast in this town. I can't believe you're bringing that up right now. You knew I was up for that raise, too. You didn't close Fisher, Gerald. You yeah. didn't close Fisher. Well, it's not my problem. I cannot help it if his kid died on the same day as my presentation. Okay. That is not my fault. It is your fault. How is that my fault? Because you, you just suck it up. You rub some dirt on it, and you close the deal. Listen, I will kick your ass right here in front of the Greyhound stop with that toothless veteran and the guitar player watching me. It's not like we didn't hear that. <laughs> you be just settle down. You want to have this out right now? I don't Let's know. have it out. Sure. Not since Stanford. Oh, here we go. <laughs> yeah. Here yeah. we go. I'm backtracking. I'm yeah. backtracking. Okay. Not since Stanford have we had it out. Yeah. And you followed me, pal. You followed me. I was the one with the water polo dream that you stole from me. <laughs> I said I wanted to do water polo. Yeah. Then you took a long look in the mirror, pal. Then you took a long look. Listen, I might be short, but these legs generate a lot of horsepower under the water. All right? So if you want to talk about dreams, okay, one, have one of your own, pal. Have one of your own. You... Hey, thanks, brother. I had one of my own. <laughs> it was called Cheryl LaMouse. Oh, here we go. Cheryl LaMouse. Cheryl LaMouse, as big as a house, of course. Yeah, as, oh, as big as a house that you don't mind renting a room from every yeah, now and then. I don't mind renting a room. 
Right. Because the rates are cheap and the bathrooms are big. I can't help it if I stepped up to the plate. We had a conversation. You said you were interested in the mouse. Yeah, and you I said I scored some roofies from Tijuana. Right. <laughs> that's not stepping up to the plate. That's committing a crime. You know I accidentally roofied myself that night, so don't, okay? Man, just wait. So, I can't believe you came over. Most guys think I'm too big to date. <laughs> oh, yeah? Well, most guys are idiot. <laughs> Is that a picture of Lee Harvey Oswald? Yeah. Huge fan. Yeah. Don't you do, uh... Oh, is that your drink? <laughs> <laughs> whose drink is whose drink? Is this my drink or is that my drink? Uh, that's your drink. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> God. Ooh. I love grapefruit and spritzer. Listen, why don't we, uh, why don't we head back to my hotel? Oh, <laughs> okay. Okay. I'm feeling it. Yeah. I'm feeling it. Okay. <laughs> Just head back up to my hotel. <laughs> this is, this is my hotel. <laughs> Are you ready for this? Yeah. Oh, Jesus. I'm feeling it now, too. Yeah. I don't think you roofied yourself at all. No, I got roofied off of her spit, man. I have a low-tolerance indigestion system. You know that. <laughs> you know what? Um, <laughs> fuck you, pal. <laughs> this is it. I have had enough. Look, I'm not one for confrontation. But I do think there's a McDonald's across the street. Oh. If you take a closer look with your small, pudgy head that's attached to your tiny, pudgy neck. I think these guys are going to get it on. I'm still pissed I wasn't signed by Motown. Did you just strike me in the face? No, I was looking at a McDonald's and my hand followed. You want to do this? What? You want to do this? Yeah, let's do this. thought of you as a brother. All I wanted to do was make you proud of me. I am proud of you, man. You went out and you bought that Ford Focus. Yeah. <laughs> Got the gap insurance just like you told me. Yeah, man. You invested wisely in that sales force. You married a man. <laughs> That's not true. I did not marry a man. No. She just has a man haircut. <laughs> And you never, never let me forget it. Hey, your wife has a G.I. Joe haircut. <laughs> Sorry, I know we're at church. <laughs> the 
fact that you said that in front of God? <laughs> you know what I didn't say? What? Dear God Almighty, I can't believe you gave me a twin brother. <laughs> Maybe not physically. <laughs> Maybe physically it's actually my exact opposite. <laughs> he, when he swims, he looks like a turtle who <laughs> doesn't know if he's going up or down. Maybe he got poked in an eye. Maybe he lost his tail. <laughs> Whatever it is, he feels like a brother to me, God. And I just want to say namaste. <laughs> you know what's weird? We've been friends for 25 years, and we have never opened up to We're each other this way. It's because we went to Stanford. <laughs> <laughs>